Welcome to our World News program. Today, we're taking you on a whirlwind tour of recent global happenings that have been stirring the pot in various ways. From the financial markets in Asia feeling the heat of geopolitical tensions and natural disasters, to the somber discovery of mass graves in Rwanda that brings historical wounds back to the surface, and not forgetting the vibrant tapestry of life captured in Latin America and the Caribbean. It's a world that never stops moving, and we're here to keep you in the loop. In Asia, we've seen the Japanese yen flexing its muscles against the US dollar, while stock markets take a bit of a tumble. This financial roller coaster is fueled by a mix of rising tensions in the Middle East, an earthquake in Taiwan, and the ever looming specter of inflation in the US. Meanwhile, over in Rwanda, the discovery of new mass graves has reopened chapters of the country's painful past, reminding us that the road to reconciliation is long and winding. And if you're looking for a burst of culture, the AP's Week in Pictures gives us a glimpse into the vibrant lives of those in Latin America and the Caribbean, showcasing everything from solemn ceremonies to the daily hustle and bustle. But that's not all. We're also diving into the political scene in South Korea, where the upcoming parliamentary elections are seeing a shift in focus towards domestic issues like the economy, a move away from the usual North Korea and US security discussions. Down under in Australia, there's a buzz around Cobalt Blue's ambitious plans to kickstart the country's first cobalt refinery aiming to tap into the growing demand for ethical electric vehicle metals. And over in Hong Kong, a bond spat involving Chinese education firm XJ International is causing ripples, highlighting the challenges and risks in the offshore bond market. These stories, from South Korea's political landscape to Australia's economic ventures and Hong Kong's financial disputes, paint a picture of a region in flux, grappling with domestic and international challenges alike. So, as we navigate through the complexities of our global village, from financial markets to historical wounds and cultural celebrations, it's clear that our world is a kaleidoscope of stories, each intertwined and affecting the other in unexpected ways. Please stay tuned for more detailed content on these fascinating developments. In a world that seems to be perpetually on the brink of chaos, recent events across the globe have once again reminded us of the fragility of peace and the volatility of markets. Nikkei Asia reports that the Japanese yen soared to its highest level in two weeks against the US dollar while the Nikkei stock average took a nosedive, falling below 39,000 for the first time in three weeks. This tumult in the financial markets is attributed to a cocktail of rising geopolitical tensions in the Middle East, the aftershocks of an earthquake in Taiwan, and the persistent specter of inflation in the United States. Meanwhile, crude oil futures experienced a rally, fueled by fears of potential disruptions to oil supplies amidst the escalating tensions in the Middle East. This scenario paints a vivid picture of how quickly the tides can turn in our interconnected world, where events in one region can send ripples across the global economy. On a more somber note, the discovery of new mass graves in Rwanda, as reported by the Associated Press, has cast a long shadow over the country's efforts at reconciliation, three decades after the genocide that tore the nation apart. In a verdant area of rural southern Rwanda, where life was seemingly moving on, the unearthing of the remains of at least 1,000 people has reopened old wounds. These graves, found during the construction of a house, are a stark reminder of the 1994 genocide against Rwanda's Tutsi population, which was ignited by the assassination of President Juvenal Habyarimana. The government of President Paul Kagame, who played a pivotal role in ending the genocide, has since worked tirelessly to bridge the ethnic divide, fostering a culture of obedience and unity among Rwanda's 14 million people. Yet, these newly discovered graves reveal the deep scars that still mar the country's landscape challenging the narrative of a nation healed. Meanwhile, the Associated Press also brings us a captivating glimpse into the life and culture of Latin America and the Caribbean through the lens of its photographers. The AP Week in Pictures, Latin America and Caribbean feature showcases a collection of images that capture the essence of the region from March 29 to April 4, 2024. Curated by photojournalist Rodrigo ABD in Buenos Aires, these images tell stories of tradition, resilience, and the everyday struggles and joys of people. From the solemn Good Friday ceremonies and vibrant Easter traditions to the stark realities of violence and unrest, these photographs offer a window into the diverse experiences that define this part of the world. Each image, frozen in time, invites viewers to pause and reflect on the stories unfolding far from their own shores, reminding us of the shared humanity that binds us all. In essence, these stories from different corners of the world, ranging from the financial markets of Asia to the heart-wrenching history of Rwanda and the vivid cultural tapestry of Latin America and the Caribbean, underscore the complexity of our global village. They remind us that, amid the ebb and flow of currencies and commodities, the echoes of past atrocities, and the celebration of age-old traditions, 
our world is a tapestry of interconnected stories, each demanding our attention and understanding. In the bustling streets of South Korea, as the country gears up for its parliamentary elections, the Associated Press reports that the usual focus on North Korea's nuclear threats and the United States security commitment has taken a back seat. Instead, South Koreans are zeroing in on domestic issues that hit closer to home, such as the economy and the skyrocketing prices of everyday essentials like green onions. This shift in priorities reflects a broader trend where up to 40% of South Korea's 44 million voters, who are politically neutral, could swing the vote on April 10. With both the ruling People Power Party and the main liberal opposition Democratic Party vying for the support of these moderates, the outcome remains uncertain. However, one thing is clear, regardless of who wins, President Yoon suk yeols foreign policy agendas will stay the course. Meanwhile, down under in Australia, Nikkei Asia highlights a bold move by Cobalt Blue, which is advancing plans to establish the country's first cobalt refinery. Amid a downturn in battery metal prices, the company is seizing the moment to capitalize on growing demand for ethical, China-free electric vehicle, EV, metals. This initiative comes at a time when the US and Europe are keen on reducing their reliance on China for critical materials. Under proposed US rules, EVs with batteries sourced from countries with free trade agreements, like Australia, could benefit from tax credits, sidelining those with materials linked to China's supply chains. Cobalt Blue's venture not only underscores the strategic shift towards sustainable and politically neutral supply chains but also signals a significant opportunity for Australia in the global EV market. Crossing over to Hong Kong, Reuters' breaking views sheds light on a contentious bond spat involving Chinese education firm XJ International and its creditors, including Asian buyout firm PAG. Accused of a willful default on a $315 million offshore debt, XJ International finds itself at the center of a storm that could have far-reaching implications for Hong Kong's financial stability. Creditors argue that despite XJ's strong financial position, the firm has made misleading statements to the Hong Kong exchange, raising concerns over the integrity of the offshore bond market. This dispute comes against the backdrop of a surge in defaults, particularly among property developers, highlighting the risks investors face even in seemingly stable parts of their portfolios. These stories from South Korea, Australia, and Hong Kong illustrate the complex interplay of domestic priorities, economic opportunities, and financial integrity in shaping the Asia-Pacific region's landscape. As South Koreans prioritize their livelihoods over geopolitical concerns, Australians bet on ethical EV metals, and Hong Kong grapples with financial disputes, the common thread is the pursuit of stability and prosperity in a rapidly changing world. Thank you for tuning in. The content above showcases the latest briefing reports and analytical synopses, thoughtfully curated by the 6 Do team. These insights stem from a wide array of reputable media outlets, think tanks, government sources, and specialized experts worldwide. We encourage you to explore these sources for a comprehensive perspective. Keep in mind that while the content may not always align with the official standpoint of 6 Do Brief, it's not meant to be taken as absolute directives for decision-making. Comprising seasoned media professionals, learned scholars, and accomplished scientists, the 6 Do team embodies a trailblazing, fully independent media entity. To customize 6 Do Brief to meet your professional needs, you have the option to subscribe to a diverse array of briefings on our website, 6dobrief.com. Regardless of your location, you can conveniently receive 6 Do Brief via email.